What's up guys, this is 139. I'm playing some more Outer Worlds. Um, I just boarded the ship of the guy I accidentally landed on and crushed. So uh, I, I... Now the fucking AI is talking to me. But I found a shotgun, so I'm definitely taking that shit. I'm going to equip that in the weapon screen. Item repair. Keeping your company gear in tip-top shape is expected, and company what? And something you're carrying needs repair. Uh, you can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon and armor parts. Get them from breaking down on wanted items. Players with engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. That's useful. Repairing an item returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness. Ready to cause to prevent maximum damage. Keep your office equipment in tip-top shape for superior company efficiency. Okay, so uh, looks like we got to repair weapons. See, oh, condition 90%. Condition 100%. I guess when you use it, it goes down. Condition 5%. All right, so this is definitely going to be a, a little tutorial here. Is what they want me to do. I'm sure they want me to fix the shotgun. Uh, long. How is this a long gun? This is a shotgun. Why is it a long, it's skill long gun? Damage 8 times 12. It's just like Borderlands where it's like, damage 7 times 984. It's like, how am I supposed to calculate that? <laughs> uh, knockback. I don't feel, I feel like that would not be a special effect because it, it sounds like recoil. Well, I'll fuck around with it. All right, I'll, let me do the little tutorial I'm sure it wants me to do and uh, repair the, yep. Repair, upgrade, oh you can upgrade. And modify your weapons and armor, keeping your combat ready in tip top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on. Then choose what you want to do to it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod or tinker to upgrade it. Okay. Hold A. Uh, let's do this, you know, of course it wants me to repair this, so... Oh, that's mod. I don't want to mod it. I want to fix it. You can repair modifier. Well, where's the option? Is Do I have to do the mod? Is that what it wants me to do right now? I don't have any mods. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm under mod. That's why. Tinker. Okay, so I want to... Re that's upgrading. I want to... Re obviously, repair is repair. Alright, so I want to repair the weapon. I have insufficient weapon parts. Shit. Can I break down this, uh, I don't think a knife would give me weapon parts. Oh, it would. Okay, yeah, I'll break the knife down since I already have it. Have a knife. That is the same fucking knife. So now I'll repair the... Make sure. Yep, repair the shotgun. And, yeah, I don't have enough to repair the pistol, but it's like 90%, so it should probably be fine. Uh, tinker. I don't have bits. I don't have bits. Okay, so I can't. I can't upgrade anything. But I repaired the shotgun. Uh, modify, and I don't think I have any. Yeah, I don't have anything like that. Okay, so there we go. Now I got a shotgun too. They, these guns look like toy guns for some reason. I'm assuming they're not all going to look like this. I really hope they don't. Pick up toss ball stick. What is this? A fucking melee gun that I can just hit somebody with? I'm gonna put that in there. I sh fuck. I should have. <laughs> now I'm like all hyped up about the melee sticks. What kind of thing is this? This is a weird item. I don't. I'm trying to think of something that it looks like in our world, but I can't. I don't know what it is. Maybe a. Maybe like one of those. Um, if you ever played this game where you can like scoop the ball up and then fling it with one of these type of looking things, it's really fun actually. Uh, it's not really a game, just play like, catch with it, but... Anyway, uh, kind of looks like that. So I guess I can swing it. Oh, shit. That may have... I don't know. Did that damage it by doing that? Let's see. Condition... I'm just going to test. If I hit something, does that damage it? I don't... Wait. 66.7. 66.1. Shit, it does! <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Oh, that's the way out. Wait, was that upstairs? Could I go up there or no? Sealed. Okay. Oh, here we go. Well, I already stole a shotgun and a bat, so I'm in the positive here. I'm not a marauder, okay? I'm just a thief. 
I accidentally killed your captain, so... This is my own ship. I don't know why I'm exploring it now. Well, I guess I should explore it. It's my own ship. This is going to be my ship, rather. It, it sort of is, because I, I guess I killed the uh, previous owner, so... It's fucked up as that sounds. What is this thing? Requires power regulator. What is that? I guess I don't have that on me. Alright. So this objective is over here. So I'm gonna check it out. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return Please don't do that, Miley Cyrus. Um, what are you going to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate you talking. I don't... I I'm not here. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, your eyes are creepy. Eject. What? Wait, 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 don't do it! Uh... Your eyes are on the ground, right? <laughs> Is this Hawthorne ship? Yeah, I'll just act like I don't know what... Hawthorne was supposed to meet with me when I landed. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. Your captain's a red. That's fucked up. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. Definitely understandable. I get it. You need me to be cap. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne, or you can't fly. Okay, but I'm not Hawthorne. Hawthorne is dead. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. And what? You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside the ship and experienced a permanent life change encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. No, that's not what I'm. Congratulations on your life changing experience. Okay, uh, yeah, let's... Okay, great. <laughs> oh, great. Ah, oh, that's why. What? Hey, I completed a quest. Power regulator. Oh, yeah, okay. Am I supposed to find something like that? I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in the garage. Um... I don't know if I have Engineering 5 or what that means. I'll just ask her where I'm supposed to get it. That's the name of the... Uh, yeah, Captain Hawthorne, knock it off with this captain. Alright, yeah, whatever, I'm just going with it. I'm rolling with it. Okay, Ada. Oh, level two. Sweet. I can upgrade my skills. Oh, that's an interesting woman. Is that Corella DeVille? Oh, it's anti-Cleo. Management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Makes sense. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of the specialized skills in a group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Each skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts uh, skill checks and the skill's passive bonuses. 
but it won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you can achieve middle management. Okay. Sounds like my life. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to go up a level, open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Okay. Oh, 10 points. Damn, I thought I only had one skill. Wait, what? Oh, wrong thing. I guess I can't. Oh, here's perks. Welcome to perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. By accepting a flaw. I'm not sure what a flaw is. Uh, acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you, so like a skill tree. Okay, cool. So perks, I got a perk. Uh, first, I'm going to do my skills here. Um, ranged. All right, what do we got? What do we have? Skill. Wait. So I just. I wish you could give it. Oh, after, okay, all right. After rank, will, all right. Points placed in a core skill melee will increase specialized skills uh, up to rank 50. So right now they're not 50, so I guess, oh, after 50 you can add points directly to your specialized skills. Okay, so I have to get them to 50 first and then I can give them uh, more points. Okay, all right. Uh, what did I do? I, I added points to pers my persuade went up for whatever reason. I'm gonna give it to this. Oh, okay. That's a lot of fucking points I have then. Um, let's do a little medical because I or engineering. I know it was cool. You could. Um, and let me do a couple here just because I'm like, oh, I like this fucking. I like this. Uh, that thing. All right, uh, apply. Yes. Time dilation location hits. You have unlocked location hit effects for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TDD maims or cripples those body parts. Oh, so it's like that. Try different locations to see the different effects. Hits of the chest pr produce different effects when using different weapons. Okay, I'm going to screw around with that once I get a little more comfortable with the game because there's a lot being thrown at me at once right now. But it's all understandable stuff. It's not like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, okay, here's a perks. 50% base health. Wow, that's a lot. 25% tactical time. All right, so it's a tactical thing. 25% damage when you're alone, 25 walk speed, 20 sprint, 25 weapon, okay, so that durability. Uh, companion crit, base armor rating, I don't have armor yet, unless what I'm wearing is armor. 100% uh, additional ammo stock on vendors, okay, so they have more ammo when I buy it from them. 50 kilogram carrying capacity, tactical time dilation, Easy. Fast travel when encumbered. 50% XP from companion kills. I'm just gonna do the most generic one, uh, boost my health. Because, yeah, as I am um, learning the game, that will give me a little bit more of a uh, uh, margin for error by having more health. So that's what I'm gonna do there. Uh, now let's get this adventure on. I'm finding, what is it called again? Let me make sure I know what it's called. Oh, square to climb. I'm sure I would be able to pick it out in a line, but power regulator, okay. I will find you a regulator. 
I know, you told me that already. Thank you. 